morning crafty friends it's Rena and today I have a obviously a sea themed project for you um, this is an explosion box and I used where did it go I just had it this paper collection 49th and market and this is the sand and sea collection so um, I purchased mine at Scrapbook Diaries. I'm not sure if there's anywhere else you can get it, but that's where I got mine. So scrapbookdiaries.com. So it's a great, great sea, uh, beach themed, underwater, ocean collection. And what I did here on the top of my box was I started, I had these little tea light candle holders in my stash. And these were some I purchased. I used to have a bathroom that was done in an ocean theme. And I just saved these because um, when we went away from the ocean theme and went to the mountain theme, um, I just kept those. And I started with one of those. It's back here. And I used it to lay my, um, my fish netting in. And then I put the clam. Uh, this is from the fairy garden section at Michael's as is this starfish and the sand castle and the lobster and the little crab so all those items are from the fairy garden section and I always get those when they're like 60 70 percent off and I just stash them away and um, yeah so that's what I started with my my tea light candle base and um, I added uh, this is a cut apart you know all the the, cl the clownfish the seahorse the starfish down here is an anchor and this is like a really heavy like 110 pound cardstock um, great great paper line um, even the paper is like 110 pound cardstock. Could be even stronger than that. Um, but you can just see I added lots of wild orchid craft flowers and seashells. There's two there. There's a sand dollar. Um, just, I just love it. And this collection has all these colors in it from the underwater part. So it really, um, really fits in nicely. This is a beautiful shell from my collection. And you can see back there, there's another starfish. So I added this um, burlap trim that I had in my stash as well. There's lots of fish netting on here. And then you can see on the outside of the box, I didn't use any of the ocean themed papers. I went ahead and used the beach themed. And obviously, you know, the, I don't know, that's like a, a seagull, I guess. And this cute, cute little um, mailbox. And it's got a couple bottles inside and like little charms says beach that way and the buoy really cute um and then there's a sand pail i just love that perfect then um over on ugh, these are always so hard to show <coughs> excuse me um this is an element from the collection that i cut apart because this particular page right here didn't have anything on it um, so I fussy cut that out and glued that on. I'm going to tell you a funny story about this. One of the pages, I, I think it was this one actually, I, um, I cut it too short. <laughs> so I had a cut line right here. So I was like, ah, because in this collection, I think you only get 12 sheets. And I was really worried about not having enough paper because I used a 12 by 12 pack and an 8 by 8 pack. And I used every single sheet. And all I had was little scraps left. So I had to put this in order to cover up that line. So crafting, you know, you make a mistake, you cover it up. 
and this is the other side another great beach um, themed photo there all right I'm gonna go ahead and take the top off but when I show you I'm gonna show you the what's in the center and then I'm gonna come back in a different video clip them together and show you the different pages so all right look what's inside look at that isn't this a great pelican i picked this up at tuesday morning i paid eight dollars for this it was not on sale um but when i saw it i knew it had to go in the middle of an explosion box and i knew it was really tall i've never made an explosion box this large um all of mine have been six by six but i was like i can do it so um he's sitting on top of a like a wooden post and all i did was add more seashells and flowers and cut aparts from this collection so there's a starfish there's that same really cute um, mailbox a seahorse some grass some little posts that's it's kind of hard to turn around guys And there's a sand dollar, another seashell. So that's the base. Let me go, let me try to go over here. Yeah, there's a, what do you call that? Like an, uh, not an octopus, um, a jellyfish. All right. So now you saw my computer. So there you go. That's um, what the what it looks like. Let me go kind of up like this, because when I from the view, I have um, it's going to be difficult to show the whole entire thing. I'm just going to be able to show you panels at a time. So I love it. Okay, guys, let me tell you next. Normally, my <clears throat> my uh, explosion boxes have three panels on each um, each piece, <laughs> panel piece. There would be like three layers here. Um, because my Pelican Center is so large, um, what I opted to do was just utilize this large panel for lots of photos instead of doing three different panels on each one. So this is what I did, and on the outside edge is a pull-out photo mat and a little, you know, just a great tuck spot for little tickets or receipts or whatever kind of treasured memories you have from the your beach vacation. So in the center here, I have a little uh, popped-up shaker pocket. There's a little bit of sand and a sand dollar in there and some pretty burlap trim. And when you open that up, you can see this gorgeous gorgeous paper I mean it is beautiful again it is by 49th and market and it's called the sand and sea all right so this is another cut apart from the collection so this opens gatefold style and it reveals a beautiful beautiful um, seahorse there this is a gorgeous paper I just love it and then this opens get this over a bit there we go and then each of this panel is eight inches so a four by six is going to fit really nicely and still show this beautiful die cut and this gorgeous um, corner uh, piece on this paper you could even put a five by seven on here no problem so this and see to me a four by six would fit great there because then you can still see the beautiful underwater um, scene there so then this opens up so you've got room for a photo here another photo here look at that I love it um, 
you know, you may not want to cover this page up. I don't know, but you could certainly put a photo there. And then we've got another photo here, and then room for two photos there. So look how many photos you can get. We'll say two, and I'm just going to go one per panel. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten just on this particular panel. I love it. All right, let's turn this bad boy around. Sorry about the shadow, guys. Um, all right, so this is um, a great lighthouse. You can see the little house at the bottom. I love it. And this panel opens up, and I used um, uh, a die cut from my collection, um, Ocean Waves die cut. And then we've got this image here. And when you open it down, oh, it's hard to see. There's another die cut right here. Let me see if I can I'll scoot. Up. There we go. Um, another die cut here with waves. And then these two panels. And then it opens like that. So you've got room for two photos here. This is another fussy cut from the collection. I did leave it loose, so if a photo needed to kind of slide behind it a little bit. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and if you wanted to put one there, ten. So there you go. All right. We've got two more turns. All right, this one is mimics the one on the other page. So again, we have a pullout tag, and I did add some from the paper collection there. Another little uh, sand and sea doll, uh, <laughs> sand dollar and sand inside the shaker pocket. This one opens up, and you've got the, the lighthouse there. And it opens like that. Look at the clownfish. So, oh, I love this page right here. I love those jellyfish so much. So again, we're going to say 10 on this page because it's the same as the other. Now this last panel is probably going to be the most difficult to share. Let's see. Can do it like this. There we go. All right. This one, um, you've got this. Sorry about that. Um, this image with a little seagull, and I did a little beach house die cut that I had in my stash. And it, you know everything is magnetized. Just I forgot to mention that I magnetize everything. So that opens up, and you've got room for a photo up there, and this is like a waterfall. There's three waterfalls there, and then there are three waterfalls. Oh, I'm going to have to leave that one on better. And then there's waterfalls this way. And then in the middle, you have another lighthouse, and I used some burlap lace, and voila. So let's see. Let's say one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So, ten, twenty, thirty, forty-three photos. Forty-three photos can be um, stored in this very large uh, six by ten explosion box. Um, as you guys probably know, this box is for sale. You can contact me at my email in the description box um, down below. I will tell you, I, I you know, I was thinking about this right before I got ready to do the video, and that's how you know, that's how long it takes to get the lid back on about 10, 15 seconds. Um, 
When I create something just for fun, something that's in my own creative mind that I just want to create, I charge a little bit less for it um, simply to move it along. When somebody asks for something custom, um, it takes it, it takes me into a different frame of mind. I have to order things. I have to shop for things. Um, I have to um, create in that person's frame of mind, and it's more difficult for me. So I usually do charge more for a custom piece. So um, if somebody had custom ordered this, I probably would ask um, $175. But since I created this um, specifically just because I wanted to, but with the papers and the embellishments, I need to get at least $125 for this. So if you're interested in this, please contact me in the um, at the email in the description box down below. Let me know what you think. I love hearing your comments. They really motivate me and get my creative juices flowing to move on to something else. So thanks so much for watching. Have a happy, scrappy day, and we'll see you next time.